The World Federation of Public Health Associations is pleased to present this video on the occasion of its 50th anniversary. In my mind, the role is first to develop sensible policies and a clear vision and make sure that those policies are evidence-based. Then, and this is much more challenging, is to persuade governments of implementing those because governments will rarely be persuaded just on the evidence. It takes the evidence, plus it takes perhaps an anecdote, pressure from the community, uh, a, a range of things that, uh, that have the effect that the politicians feel uh, some kind of pressure. Now occasionally of course you do get politicians who just have a vision who are out there but they need support. Uh, so, so it's that combination and that's really a, a incredibly important part for public health associations to be this transition between the academics and researchers uh, and the uh, uh, politicians and the community. And I, and I think it's one that we have to take much, much more seriously. As public health associations, both national public health associations and the World Federation of Public Health Associations, we had a lot of efforts in the past and we contribute a lot in terms of uh, producing evidences, advocating for better change in terms of policy and program directions in the different public health issues. Je crois que le grand mérite des associations santé publique et la Fédération mondiale des associations santé publique au cours de ces 50 dernières années a été essentiellement le plaidoyer, le plaidoyer très fort pour aider la population à prendre conscience des rôles néfastes de certains facteurs qui, qui minent la santé. The role of national public health associations, regional public health associations and the World Federation of Public Health Association is to permanently advocate for a public health agenda at various levels in all circumstances, whether political such as government changes, social such as the information age, economic such as globalization, environmental such as climate change. Public health associations are therefore supposed to keep the eye on the ball all the time. El papel que tienen las asociaciones nacionales de salud pública y la Federación Mundial es tener una voz autorizada, confiable, por tanto basada en pruebas científicas para poder influir en los gobiernos y así promocionar políticas públicas saludables. Y sin duda también deben contribuir intercambiando información, intercambiando experiencias para mejorar la formación y la investigación de la salud pública, de los profesionales de salud pública. I believe that national associations and regional associations, such as UFA, which will be celebrating its 25th anniversary next year, and the World Federation, which has celebrated its 50th anniversary, have been very important in terms of bringing public health professionals together, providing them with the tools, the expertise, the networks and the experience, such that they are able then to return to their own um, uh, countries, to their own organizations, and advocate for change. They have built the knowledge, they have helped to build the networks, the evidence, but more importantly, they have brought together individuals, they have given them the passion to be able to advocate for change. I think advocacy has been the main uh, task that we have accomplished together. So working together alone, you are you know, a poor guy or a poor organization. Together we are a strength. And advocating together can make a, ma a major change. I think one of the major contributions of national public health associations and the World Federation of Public Health Associations to improving uh, population health and health equity over the past 50 years has been their power to convene people around an issue and uh, to help uh, create collaborative action on issues. I also think that they've been great catalysts of getting different groups around a table. Uh, they've been good, great change agents. I look at what uh, public health associations around the world have been doing around, on the issue of tobacco control, and it's quite amazing with very limited resources, but a lot of volunteer effort, what they have achieved. And I think this has been one of the great contributions of the uh, global public health community. Persistent advocacy is number one. That is really important. And for public health associations to identify those areas that are really important for their country or their constituency 
and keep them alive before the public and before the decision makers. Moi, je pense que les associations professionnelles comme la SPQ, comme euh, l'Association de santé publique du Canada et leur fédération mondiale permettent aux gens de se parler, permettent aux professionnels qui sont impliqués dans ces défis-là au quotidien d'avoir euh, un peu un espace, de, de, un peu d'oxygène dans leur pratique. Euh, de pouvoir se parler, de pouvoir échanger. C'est aussi un véhicule pour euh, influencer les pratiques à travers les données probantes, développer de la recherche. Je pense que les associations ont été clés pour doter les professionnels et les chercheurs d'outils pour faire avancer le champ. Je pense que probablement la chose la plus importante est le mariage de la science et de l'advocacy de la human right to health care. That's basically it. We have marriage science, evidence-based research put into practice, and then the addressing of advocacy for the human rights to health care. Health professionals, uh, professional associations, regional associations, and the World Federation of Public Health Association has a very important role to play. They can uh, play active role in as advocates, as facilitators, and as uh, catalysts in promoting and supporting positive and sound public health policies, practices, and strategies. The, uh, these professional associations and societies can uh, focus on creating a global movement towards uh, sound public health uh, actions and uh, partnerships for the realization of essential health care for all uh, through equitable uh, means. The Association of Health Public has played an important role y en mi opinión ha sido fundamental el jugado por la Federación Mundial de Asociaciones de Salud Pública, porque ha podido integrar las asociaciones de distintos países, ha promovido la salud, ha promovido la, el enfoque de los determinantes sociales de la salud, ha trabajado en la capacitación y ha estimulado en general los vínculos, las alianzas en pro de lograr una mejor salud poblacional. I think the most important contribution of the National Public Health Associations and the World Federation has been to make the invisible visible. Dealing with the scandal of ignorance whereby in many parts of the world people are born, they live their lives and they die without anyone having any record of what has happened. And by making that visible and by making the causes of the causes of disease and premature death visible, they have been able to shape the agenda and achieve a great well, National Public Health Associations, as you know, are voluntary. So the people who belong to them are usually health workers, multidisciplinary, but they're there voluntarily. They don't have to join their national association to be registered, to be able to be licensed to practice their profession. They join because they're committed to the, the practice of public health and usually to social justice issues because at the end of the day, Public health is one of the few areas of the health services that deal with inequities and social injustices. We, we need to see each other. We need associations to strengthen each other because we are always fighting for our right in terms of budget allocations, in terms of uh, getting our, our um, uh, agenda uh, accepted politically and so on. There are many competing forces. Sometimes they're against us, sometimes they're just idle lying there. So to come together and strengthen each other is also very important. Very important. Mm -hmm. The role of national association and the World Federation of Public Health Association are interrelated. While the national association provide evidences at grassroots level, the World Federation of Public Health Association would generate those and share those widely. That will help to push the whole system forward to achieve the goals in responding to public health challenges. 
tangible assets such as money and hard resources are undoubtedly important in reducing healthcare inequities. However, superior quality intangible assets such as intellect, professional expertise, time, care and compassion are equally important in achieving the said task. National Public Health Associations play a vital role in sensitizing today's youth, the young healthcare professionals, to public health. Therefore, they'll be playing a very important role in how public health turns out in the next 25 to 50 years by creating awareness in the youth and thereby supplying those much needed intangible assets to the public health field in order to reduce healthcare inequities. Well, the good thing is actually within your name. You're called the Federation. And the Federation means that you're autonomous as coming together with the National Association. And you're coming together for dialogue and, and exchange and you agree on certain concepts. And that, I think, has been the biggest success of the World Federation to, uh, to steer this dialogue and to come to joint conclusions. Je voudrais pour finir souhaiter un très bel anniversaire à la Fédération mondiale des associations de santé publique et une bonne chance sur le parcours qui reste à faire. Et puis on se retrouve dans 50 ans. UNACO congratulates all public health fraternity in the world, particularly the members of the World Federation of Public Health Association members of the National Public Health Association, and all those other people involved in the public health arena. May we work ever harder and smarter in the next 50 years. Congratulazioni e buon compleanno alla World Federation of Public Health Association. World Federation of Public Health Associations, congratulations on reaching 50 years. You've done great, and you're going to do great for the next 50. I'm honored to be able to wish WFPHA a very happy 50th year and many, many more years. Congratulations, WFPHA. I am delighted to wish happy birthday to the World Federation. Uh, it's been a wonderful 50 years and it will be certainly a better and more productive the next 50 years. I now would like to congratulate the World Federation of Public Health Associations on its 50th anniversary. So happy 50th anniversary, World Federation of Public Health Associations. Deseo hacer una felicitación a la Federación Mundial de Asociaciones de Salud Pública en su 50th anniversary. Happy birthday, WFPHA, and we look forward to another 50 years of continued success. The Federation's anniversary of its 50 years of existence is a huge milestone and I'm sure it will be celebrating its 150 years from now. So happy birthday, WFPHA. World Federation, happy, happy anniversary and all the best for the next 50 years.